Good morning, Jay Nicholas and Chris Daughters at the Catisfy. I want to start out, I'm, I'm going to do a micro intruder here, but I want to do a little plug for this Regal Vice. It is the, um, the Regal Rotary. And I've got Revolution. A, Revolution. Well, you know, I, I tie with them. They're great. I want to put in a plug for these little dubbing dispensers, you know. Um, they, they really are nice. Um, I have just used the packets of dubbing for all these years, and I'm finally getting around to just, shoot, give me one of these things. Here we go. Micro Intruder. Um, my beginning element will be the butt. And first of all, you might be asking, what is a micro intruder? Well, as Chris pointed out, there seems to be some confusion around what some of the, you know, what's an intruder, what's a micro intruder. If you go on YouTube, you will find, by the way, I'm going to use an OPST dubbing twirler here. Um, having written a book on intruders, it's really interesting. I, a lot of these things, I just, I make it up as I go. There isn't an official rule book. Uh, Jerry French uh, is certainly knows a thousand times more about intruders than I do. Uh, Jerry and Ed Ward are right at ground zero uh, in developing the intruder as a style. And then people like me come along and uh, we make stuff up. We, we create our own intruders and micro, and we, and we create things we call micro intruders. And um, it's all good. It's all part of the natural evolution. Um, and if you look on yeah. YouTube at flies, by the way, this is a Mets uh, hen hackle, soft hackle. This fly is something I call a micro intruder. Turns out there's a gentleman down who in California who fishes a Klamath a lot. He has developed a fly pattern that he calls a micro intruder. It looks nothing like this, but it's a very effective fly. And my point in rambling on here is that just because I define a micro intruder in a certain way doesn't mean that's the only way it can be. Um, at some point, if you're tying intruders, I'm going to use some Lagerton carded flat braid, fantastic stuff, very slim for the body here. Um, as, as you start to tie intruders or flies that you call intruders and you look at what other people are tying, you can decide yourself whether it meets the criteria for an intruder. For me, an intruder typically has a butt station and a shoulder station. Um, I think that's what typified Jerry French's flies. Um, not all the flies you'll see labeled as intruders have those features. Um, Intruders originally, I think, tended to be pretty big flies. And I think that Jerry and Ed referred to um, the, they were referring to the steelhead's reaction to the fly as an intruder on its, the steelhead's territory because the way the fish would crush the fly. Very aggressive takes. This is Senyo's Fusion. I'm beginning the shoulder station now. This is Senyo's Fusion Dub in the sky. Hi, Greg. How you doing, buddy? So the reason to 
the reason to put this little dubbing ball on here, and you could use other things. You could use cactus chenille, regular chenille, is to provide some uh, substance, some uh, backing substance, uh, bulk, to make the next hackle stand out. Now I'm going to put on a uh, another Met Soft Hackle, Kingfisher Blue. And I don't know if you noticed, but on that the pink hackle I was tying in, I was trying to get one extra turn, and I wasn't able to because the feather started to twist on me. Uh, Met's Hackles, uh, some of the individual feathers will have a twist in the center stem when you get to that now this one doesn't seem to but when you do get to that twist you either got to finish your finish your wrap off or face it your hackle is going to be a mess that's just the nature of the beast So when I tie this fly, um, I like to have distinct butt and, and shoulder stations. Sometimes I'll tie on a, uh, a marabou or uh, put a turn of marabou on there and I'm going to do that in this case. This is fish hunter, spay marabou, very nice stuff. I am just, am I going to put on one turn or two? Maybe two. One and a half, how's that? So the, the whole idea of calling a fly a micro intruder might be silly, that's fine. Uh, the idea here is I'm looking around for my lateral scale. Intruders are big. They, they, they are by nature large. And very often, this is lateral scale, very often a steelhead will, they will react to a large fly. They'll come to it. They'll move to it. They may grab it, pluck it, uh, pull on it, but they don't really take it in their mouth and eat it. But if you downsize your fly, they will. So that's the concept of the micro intruder is, is to do something that looks intruderish, but is just a little bit, instead of being this big, it's half the size. So now I want to put on a little bit of a, some little long flowy tendrils here of ostrich. And I'm not putting on very many turns of thread at, e at each stage here. Now, again, there is no magic formula. This, you, you should feel free, the freedom to tie this fly just as I have, or you should feel the confidence to, to vary the materials a little bit, vary the colors, vary the proportions. Um, the, the, the idea here is to show you the, the, the how-to, and I'm going to put on a couple of turns of black schlappen in the front of this fly, principally to finish it off and have it be real slender where I slide my, my cone. I'm going to use a, a cone. I'm going to use an ultrasonic disc 
to finish this fly off. And I'm going to put another little touch of super glue on my thread there, like I learned from Bruce Berry. And Chris was, you're telling me that Dave Whitlock was doing that mm -hmm. centuries this ago? This is years ago, just 25 years ago at the yeah. shop, he came by. Did a demo day for us. It is so in so funny that things, no matter how long a person has been tying, there are people out there doing innovative things that you've never heard of, that I've never heard of. Um, so the the color themes in this fly are very steel heady, with a hot pink and blue and black. I can assure you this is a winter fly, a summer fly. It's not weighted. The the cone the, or the disc that I'm going to put on is uh, quite light. So this fly is going to rely on your sink tip to achieve whatever depth you intend to achieve. If you want this to sink faster, you would need to add something like a tungsten raw weight or drop weight or something of that nature. You could put uh, dumbbell eyes on these as well. So I'm going to slide my disc on there and I'm very quickly because I have it handy. I would normally use a razor blade, but naturally I left my razor blade at home. And it just takes a There's a yeah. Nicholas Micro Intruder. 